Okay, one more section on rhythms for this class. In this section, we're gonna talk about triplets and other tuplets. So what that means in a nutshell is, we've looked at rhythms that conform to the meter pretty strictly so far. For example, what we're seeing here on the screen, we're back to 4-4, four, four, so standard, normal, old 4-4. Four, four. And we have one, two, three, and four, and, right? So what we're doing is, when we're in four, four, we can only do quarter notes and then divisions of quarter notes. We can cut it in half, we can cut it in fourths, we, or we can go the other way, we could double it, we can triple it. But, uh, what if we wanted something in between these two things? What if we wanted something that didn't quite conform, uh, but fit in in kind of an other weird way? Another way to think about that is, uh, you know, with music, we can do whatever we want. Um, we can sing whatever rhythm we can think of, whether it conforms to this kind of notation or not, right? The job of the notation is to figure out how best to write down whatever we can think of. So not everything falls into these nice little categories of quarter notes and eighth notes. There are some stuff that's just in between those two. And that's what we're going to talk about here. We talk about that is called a triplet, uh, a case where something would be in between these two. Now, don't get confused. It has nothing really to do with with uh, duple meter or triple meter or anything like that. This is kind of something completely separate. So put um, duple and triple uh, out of your head for now. We're kind of putting a end to that and talking about something new. Some of the terms can get confusing, putting these back to back, which I tried not to do, but it's just kind of the way it flows together best. So try not to get confused between those two things as we go forward in this section. We will, however, be returning in this section to triple meter and talking about how we can do some fun stuff with those rhythms. So let's just leave it at that for now. So first, let's talk about triplets.